My fellow students, I'm here to talk to you about something that is affecting us all. How many of you have had trouble parking this morning? I do as well. It's frustrating, isn't it? Obviously, there's someone to blame. But who? We often direct our anger and frustration toward the parking department, as do I. We, they overcharge us for parking permits, yet we still can't find a parking spot. And then when we park in the wrong area, because we need to get to class to further our education, <laughs> they fine us. As Kyle Kirshner put it in the State Hornet, they find any reason to give you a ticket, and they laugh about it. Who in their right mind would defend these people? Lucky for them, I like a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> After thorough thought and investigation, I came to a really important realization, one that I'm here to share with you all today. My fellow students, we are putting our anger toward the wrong department. We need to look behind the scenes, what's causing it, where is it stemming from. First, let's talk about the growing enrollment we currently, according to the Sac State University Factbook, it does statistics on students, we have 25,541 undergraduate students and 2,998 graduate students enrolled in the fall alone, this fall. And then we have a 67.1% enrollment acceptance rate, which means that this will only continue to rise. And then you look at the campus map, and you see that we have four parking structures. And we have 14 student lots. How is this a problem? I spoke to a UTAPS representative. Um, his name is Freddie Orozco. And he let me know that it actually just translates to 9,500 parking spots. There's obviously a problem here. Where is this coming from? I know we've heard it time and time again. Budget cuts. They're continuously cutting our spending. In fact, in a Sac B article, it uh, was written by the CSU Board of Trustees, they explained that $650 million was cut in our 2011 budget alone. So how do they compensate for this? Well, more students, which for us means our favorite, unit caps. So then they take the, what they do is, it's, they set it up so that there's more students, which is not only a pain in our ass, but it exacerbates the parking problem. So, in um, actually in reference to this, in the same article in the State Hornet, um, Associate uh, Vice President for Student Affairs Edward Mills liked the unit cap to a buffet. He said that if there's a hundred people and only the first fifty are the only ones who get the food, there's nothing left for the rest of the, the other half. So what he wants to do is he wants to give an equal opportunity. He wants to allow the 100 to at least get one helping. I love when they compare our education to a buffet. <laughs> so, when, or, so what does the CSU parking department actually do? Honestly, they're just trying to constitute a little order in this chaos. They you know, are doing the best that they can. They, you know, we get mad at them, we get so angry with them for not being able to find a spot or to not get, you know, to pay overcharges for parking permits or parking fees. What's really behind it? We can now kind of see that. So next time you see a parking ticket on your windshield or you can't find a parking spot, don't be so quick to get angry at them. Remember this talk, remember this conversation that we had. And next time you find an issue like this, walk right past the UTAP Center, walk straight on to admissions, because that's where the real problem lies. Thank you.